Well, you know I love visuals. Here's one from my neighborhood, and I want to dedicate this to moms in honor of Mother's Day. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Do we have it? Daily prayer. I'm going to tell you what it says. Oh, no, no. Oh, dear. That's my sister-in-law. Hi, Judy. <laughs> oh, um, daily prayer can give you a complex. It, it was a church marquee, end of my street. Now, I want to spell complex. C-A-L. M plex daily prayer can give you a complex. Well, as a new mother, Julie Johnson prayed that God would provide a career that she could pursue from home so that she could be with her children. She took up photography and started her own business. Vine Images has been voted number one in Burlington for four years in a row. So has this photographer. It's a joy to have this time together, Julie. Thank you. And here's the big thing. Are you going to believe this? 15 minutes ago? 15 minutes. By the grace of God, we yanked this off the FedEx truck. I don't know where it was headed, Julie. <laughs> Your new book. It actually won't be ready for the public for maybe, what, 12 weeks? 12 weeks around there. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Your Thank first. You. Yes. And yeah. what a story. It is. It what is. What a story. Yeah. Uh, we, we have to start with the first unexpected love. Mm -hmm. And that was your finding Jesus mm -hmm. out of, well, a journey that uh, seemed to have everything mitigating against that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was a very rebellious child and I had a lot of anger and resentment. My parents got divorced when I was very young and um, my dad fell in love with another woman and both my parents remarried and had um, new families and my sisters and I just felt very much that um, we were alone. We were, where was our family? Where did we fit in? And I became very angry and rebellious and by grade eight I was into not so good stuff. And then as a teenager I got into drugs and partying and my friends became everything. My family meant nothing to me. And then my dad became a Christian and, mm -hmm. uh, and the whole family was in shock. And, um, and I'd ask him questions and eventually he led us to, um, to go to a play. Um, a Christian play, Heaven's Gates, Hell's Flames, and it was there that I asked the Lord into my life and I became a child of God, but my journey wasn't an instant change. It was about a year and four months that the Holy Spirit just kept opening my eyes to the truth, the way, and the life, which is through Jesus Christ, and mm. I was uh, instantly changed at 19, and um, that was the first unexpected love that I experienced. God just filled me that I was instantly healed of drugs and anger and bitterness, and I asked my parents for forgiveness, and He's just been such an amazing God ever since. I just love noting that in the journey, mm -hmm. surely God was preparing you for this. Mm -hmm. um, you loved art class. I loved art. And things like yeah. composition, lighting, and design. Mm -hmm. That's all part of the success you're enjoying now. Mm -hmm. I never ever thought that I could have a career in the arts. My mom and everybody would tell me, you know, you're going to be a starving artist and there's no money. And this is... I prayed for God to give me a career that I could stay at home with my children. I have three and this was it. I started documenting them and then it just started blooming from there and now it's, it's become a, a big business. Yeah, it's good. Let's open the book, okay. so to speak. <laughs> and I think we're first we're going to see uh, the professional. Yes, the just award the, winning um, four years in a row, girl. Yeah, just the this is Ooh. just the intro page, and it just talks about my husband and I. His first gift that he gave me while we were dating was a camera, and uh, I never ever would have thought that, you know, a few years from then that I'd be a professional photographer documenting people's lives, and so you just never know where uh, where the Lord will lead. Where a gift will take you. Mm -hmm. Well, oh my, now who's tell me that? <laughs> this is one of my clients and the scripture is that uh, my children hear and know my voice and they follow me. And, um, you know, we learned in prenatal class that when a baby is born, um, the, the parent's voice will not be unfamiliar. Just as when we go to heaven, our Lord's voice will not be unfamiliar to us. My children hear and know my voice and they follow me. Same thing walking in the mall. My kids are always like little geese following behind me. And that's the way Lord, the Lord wants us to be, mm -hmm. just to follow him. And knowing his voice even now. Yes. As we walk with him. Yes. So you've used um, a lot of clients for... Mm -hmm some of these, what we're going to discover are 
spiritual yes. lessons. Yes, yeah. Being a photographer, I spend um, like hours with customers during newborn sessions. Sometimes it's two hour sessions and the conversations become very intimate. And you know, I always ask them like, did you ever imagine that you could love someone so much? And they're like, I had no idea. They thought they loved their spouse and then they had their baby and they're like, this love is amazing. No matter what culture, what everybody in the world experiences this love and it's from God. The unexpected love of parenthood. Yes, it's amazing. Mm. When I met my daughter for the first time, I was just, I couldn't, I couldn't believe the love that I had for her and it was unconditional. And that's the way God loves us. How old are your children, Julie? They're now nine, 10 and 11. Yeah. Let's take a look at the next one. Sure. So, um, oh. I am the father who comforts you in all your troubles. And you just think, I love when my children fall and when they want hugs and cuddles and just to be able to kiss them when they're crying. And God is that God. Like he wants to comfort us in all our troubles. Mm. Julie, I know you want to share another chapter of unexpected love mm -hmm. uh, that I think is brave and vulnerable. Of you. Yes. <laughs> So um, both my husband and I became Christians later on in life. We were 19 and both of us had had intimate relationships before we started dating. And, um, you know, in our teens, like we, we dated a long time trying to be as faithful to God as possible with not becoming intimate together. So I was not on birth control. We didn't, we just never expected, you know, that that would happen. Anyways, we fell into temptation and I ended up becoming pregnant out of wedlock and um, I was such an evangelical Christian so for everybody to hear oh my gosh Julie Johnson is uh, well Julie Minion at the time is pregnant and uh, so anyways it was it was a lot to to deal with but through that like God never left me he continued to love me and bless me and he took that situation of of shame and of embarrassment and he blessed me with the most beautiful baby I could ever imagine so. And it was that unexpected love that continued to love you through yes. Yes. that falling. Yeah, God does not abandon us through our sin, through our any anything. He loves us and he wants the best for us. And he can take any situation and make it good. If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us That's our right. sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, yeah. What a God we he serve. He is a good God. Oh, let's go to another picture. Sure. Oh, these are just precious newborn twins. My sister had twins um, two weeks or six weeks, sorry, before I had my babies. And she, uh, she said, Julie, you don't understand the love I have for them. And I said, well, I love them too, Lori. They're my nephews. <laughs> and she's like, no, you wait till you have your own. And I had my own about six weeks later and she was right. It's, uh, you have to experience it to, to understand it. How did it. you get them like that? Oh, we spend a lot of time. They're sleeping. They're sleeping. And they're yeah. Yeah, we use hair dryers to keep them warm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they I mean, seem to like it. That's one of the things all the articles note is, mm -hmm. is you are renowned for your patience with children, mm -hmm. uh, which you must be if you want to get that perfect photograph. Yeah, everybody, a lot of people say it, and, and they'll be like, oh, you have the patience of Job. And I'd be like, oh, that's interesting, you know, but it's not an effort for me at all. Like, I don't, I love children. I love spending time with them. I couldn't imagine them not in my life. Mm -hmm. So I love, I love the babies and my staff do too. They look forward to when we have the newborns in. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I can't wait. Oh. oh. So you knit me together in my mother's womb. And I just think of my daughter, like when I became pregnant, um, God planned her life, we didn't. And you know, each one of us is meant to be. And you know, he's just, he's, he's in control. <gasps> that face. Isn't is, that beautiful? It's a perfect little porcelain face. Mm -hmm. That, this isn't one of your babies. No, no, oh. my children are. These are all clients. Are, are your children in here? Um, there's one picture that's coming up that okay. you'll see of my daughter, my daughter Madison, my middle child. Oh, you've got some great yeah. candidates here. Yes, for yeah. Looking yeah. at over and over again. Mm -hmm. Okay.